President Donald Trump <laughs> will not be delivering a closing argument in his civil fraud case. I was trying to uh, talk to Charlie about what case we're talking about because he's got... Which one? He's There's got a lot of, so many, one, a lot of court right? action so many. the former president. Also, his battle over ballot eligibility, that continues. That's a different situation. Uh, and also election interference, that's a different situation. How long is this segment? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get right, paid by the word, so it could be as much as you want. Right? Right? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what's going on today. I think it's easier. Today, yes. there is the Donald Trump fraud trial. It's got nothing to do with the election, insurrection, nothing. That's separate. We'll talk about that next week. Is that how much his real estate dealings are? Yes. That's okay. what we're oh, so nothing to do with that is, other it's stuff. It's got nothing to do with okay. the, all that other stuff. Huh. But, but, but this is a big case. It's being brought in New York by the New York Attorney General. The allegation is that Donald Trump inflated his assets so that he could get better bank loans so he could use money to buy other properties. Mm -hmm. And apparently that's against the law. He can't do that because of rules. And the attorney general says we're going to put a stop to it. Interesting in this case, the judge already ruled that Trump did uh, over-evaluate his assets. So the only issue today is how much money is Donald Trump going to be fined? How much did he inflate his assets to get these favorable loans. Can I ask you, if you're selling a house, yeah, and you say my house is worth $1 million, yep. doesn't a bank or somebody have to come in and say, no, it's not, it's only worth... They send in an appraiser yes. all the amount. time. You get an Every appraiser to go in. We all bought property yes. in the past. We had an appraiser, an appraiser. So, uh, in the, but in the commercial world, when you're looking to uh, borrow money, apparently, yes, a million is not. We're talking about 370 million. Mm. We're talking about Donald Trump buying properties that are worth millions. The attorney general said that the allegations here are between eight. 112 million to 2.2 billion of inflated assets. Now again, the judge already made a ruling. So the only issue here is how much did he did he do it? And then that will determine the fine. And there's also some restrictions so on the his. The case is not yeah. being argued. Did he do it? Did he not do it? And the, and I remember at the time when we were talking about this, uh, we thought did, didn't somebody check his work? I mean, he yeah. he wrote well, down it's worth this much. And like these guys are saying, yeah. isn't there someone See, to go in and say, well? I, I've always had a problem with this case. I kind of like the case. It's interesting. Uh, but I've had a problem with it. Who's the victim here? Now, again, you cannot. It's against the law because they're banking rules. If, he, if Donald Trump defaults, for example, uh, you know, people lose and a lot of money. And, or, he, they and he files for bankruptcy. And he for bankruptcy and creditors. And he, we want to protect the banks for loaning the money as well. But you guys are right. You do an appraiser. There's no banker is suing Donald Trump because he defaulted. It's not happening here. It's the attorney general doing regulation in in New York. And so the if the judge is going to make some determination, certainly it will get appealed, but Donald Trump will have to pay a fine and probably not be able to do a real estate work in Detroit and maybe have to sell assets. In, in New York. In New York. In New York. Uh, uh, okay. Charlie, uh, no, there's no jail penalty here. We're just talking no. about fine. We're just fines. So, so what's come up here is Donald Trump yesterday, he wanted to give the closing argument mm. in this case. This is an 11-week trial. It's been going on for 11 weeks. Now, 11 weeks? Oh, yeah. We, what are they arguing? This is a very highly technical, okay. really, really, you know, covering that Detroit bankruptcy. I mean, that was one of the most intense cases mm. I've ever covered. Mm -hmm. It's very intense. I mean, you're talking about banking yeah. and loans and evaluations and inflations and the cases I've had with, I mean, these are very intense cases. Okay. So this goes on for a long time. And mm. they're very technical. But for Donald Trump to give his own closing argument, no, 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 That's no. That's what he wants to do. He wants to do it. Now, the judge ruled he yesterday he's not going to do it because mm -hmm. Donald Trump wanted to give a campaign speech. He mm -hmm. says the attorney general is politically biased. The judge is a biased. Everybody. And that's not, that's not right. Mm. He, he's got to stick to the law. Let, leave that for the lawyers. As well, far as I know, he's not a lawyer. One thing the former president does know is that when he shows up, his numbers go up. And if he showed up on the stand, his numbers perhaps would go up again. Probably. So, and he's in yes, court he today. To he's going to be there. He wants to be there. But bottom line line is do not give your own, let the lawyers do the job, and that's it. I, I, it's so a lesson for the people. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let your attorneys do the speaking. There's a, there's a saying, he who represents himself has a fool for a client. Yeah. And that is true. Right. There, that is true. Interesting. Also, right. another saying is, we don't cry over spills, we wipe them up. 
What was it saying? Uh, we don't, we don't, yeah, we don't cry over now spills. Now you just it's messed milk. up my, uh, milk. Milk. Uh, yeah, we, we don't, milk. we don't cry over spills, we clean them up. Not spilled, oh, it no, it's not the spilled milk. No, it's a different one. It's a different one. All right. All right. Charlie, stick around. All right. We're going to talk to you about when the roads are slick and, uh. I invented that one. Put it on the shirt. What are your, legal responsibilities to clear it all away? Got to be right back. All right, let's talk about what's happening outside. The road's a little bit messy, so what does that mean when you're dealing with winter weather, mm -hmm. and whether it's a sidewalk in front of your house yeah. or your steps, or maybe something happens and you get in a little uh, accident on the road. Saw a couple this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. So and the legally, school bus went off the road in Macomb wow. Luckily, no injuries, so that's yeah. that's a good thing. But oh, I was out there today. Scary. I looked like I was out there. You look great. Uh, <laughs> no. You look like a million uh, bucks. Yes, yeah. you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> or I would inflate that. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's two million bucks. Three million. Three million. Three million. <laughs> <laughs> do I hear five? Um, let's talk about cars first. All right. Yeah. So is if you if you uh, are driving on those roads like today and you're rear-end somebody, can you say? Hey, wait a minute! The snowy conditions—is that a defense to a to a to a car accident? Mm -hmm. And the short answer is yes. no. It is wow. not. No, 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 no. no, uh, no, no. We're no. all on the roads, and you're the only one that irritates somebody. Control right? of you your car. have to keep control yeah. of your car. If you car could say that, then you could say the sunlight, sunlight was the problem, right and the sun was in You my can't eye. say the sunlight. Right. The, the dog ate my homework. Not none of that stuff <laughs> works here. So, but if you do get into a but car accident, and we have a lot of sponsors that are probably listening. This right now, right. Um, but yes, you can sue. You have to do really have to have first of all two things. One, the other person has to be at fault. Okay, not you. And then you have to have a serious injury. What is a serious injury? That's debated. It's got to be a fairly called a serious impairment of body functions. These are magic legal words. It means you have to have a broken bone or some objectively, you know, documented um, uh, injury. Mm. You know, back pain, eh, back surgery, MRI positive, EMG, all those things, X-ray, broken bone. Stiff those neck are good. might not do it. Stiff neck may not do it. Mm. Remember uh, uh, so, that episode of Brady Bunch where uh, Carol was on trial? and that oh. guy was wearing his neck collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody in the back of the courtroom made a loud noise and he turned around. Right. Oh. <laughs> that was, that's really good. Busted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 the defense attorney did yeah. that back there. That was really, the, he worked for the insurance company. <laughs> wow, that was, uh, that was pretty good. So that's kind of the, the now there's some subtleties too um, about um, Comparative fault. And I don't want to get too legal here, but the insurance of if you are, you're, you sideswipe me because you I'm ran be, a light. I gotta be. Oh, no, 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 Okay, but maybe I was speeding. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So then a jury is going to assess the negligence of both of us. So you ran a red light. Mm. That's pretty good. But I was speeding. Maybe I should have avoided it. And maybe I'm 10% negligent. I'm making up these numbers because right. the jury would do that. Mm. And let's say my injuries are worth a million or a hundred thousand. Make it easy, a hundred thousand right. dollars. That hundred thousand is reduced by ten percent. So now oh, wow. you only have to pay ninety. Mm. So and it's a big deal. It's mm -hmm. a big big deal. Maybe not in the car accident arena, although that is the the, the law. In the slip and falls. Let's talk about that now. Mm. The other issue here, if do you have a duty to get the snow off your front, uh, your, your, your sidewalk, your driveway? The short answer now is yes, you do. Mm. Because really? if you don't, and you invite me over for uh, dinner or drink or whatever, and I slip and fall, and you you didn't clean up the ice, I can sue you. Mm. Now. Wow. There's comparative negligence. I should have known there was ice. I drove through the snow. I should have looked where I was going. Maybe I could have gone in a different door, whatever. And so you assess my fault as well. Mm. Maybe I'm 25% at fault. If I'm more than 50% at fault, by the way, there's no case. You cannot sue. Wow. So this is a, this is a rough assessment made by the jury, and that is a new law. We're going to focus a little bit more on that tonight. That's uh, interesting. Oh, look at that. The but new law. The new law. The new law is slip and falls. Slip and falls. Yeah. The old law was that if you, the person that was injured, yeah. you should have known if the danger. What's the danger? Snow and ice. Okay. It's open and it's obvious, which right. it is. It's ice is slippery. We know that living in Michigan, mm -hmm. you, there's no case at all. Mm -hmm. Nothing. They changed it though.
just a couple months ago. Oh, does that make the uh, lawyers happy? Make, lawyers love it. <laughs> and our, and our, uh, our, uh, our uh, your meeting of all the lawyers. <laughs> did a no, big I think cheers. the people that sell the ads are very happy to. Yeah, yeah, so right, right, they can, right. I get the slip and fall. They can get right. slip and fall lawyers too. Right. Very good. Yeah. But when you get in an accident, yeah, no yeah, matter how minor, you should always call yeah. the cops. Oh. <laughs> oh yes, call yeah, call the police. We have to in a car accident for yeah. sure. You have to. Yep. First, uh, yeah, yeah, first thing you do when you get in an accident is call the police. Call the police. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You have to do that. Absolutely. Have to report. All right, so let it rip. You're going to talk about some of this tonight? Nothing. None of it. We're going to talk about <laughs> none of it. And we're going to talk about the uh, uh, the new head of the Republican Party, mm. and we'll do a little bit more on Trump. And uh, is Trump immune? He was talking about immunity from being sued because he was the president. We'll get into that a little tonight, 1030 on Let It Rip. Very good, Charlie. Thank you. There you go. Stay safe out there, everybody. We'll be right back.